Hi guys, so today we are installing a race ship in the BMW B58 engine. Before you're going to start with the installation, make sure you open the hood, of course, lock the car afterwards and then wait like 10 to 15 minutes. So the ECU has some time to shut down, so all the sensors are technically off, so you can start the installation. So the next step is um, simply remove the engine cover and lay it on the side. Now you can uh, start to locate the sensors. Uh, for this engine, for the B58, we are connecting to the turbo boost sensor, which is this sensor. And we are connecting to the intake pressure sensor, which is this sensor over here. So now we are installing the turbo pressure sensor. Start to remove the female side of the sensor. You can do that by pulling the white safety lock back. You can do that by hand or use a small screwdriver to do that. Like just put it back, remove it. Now you can install the harness, which is delivered together with your whole package. So the cables are marked with an A and B label. You will have them in your installation uh, guide as well. So we are going to start with the connector, which is labeled with the A. That is the turbo pressure sensor. Uh, simply put the race chip female side into car male side. Push it in, press the safety lock. Now get the male side of the race chip harness and put it together with the female side of the car. And close the lock. Same goes for the um, connection B, which is the intake pressure sensor. So to remove the uh, white safety lock, um, you can use the screwdriver again. Just pull in here, put it back a little bit. You can hear the lock noise. Press it and remove it. Now you can install the female side um, of the race harness into the male side of the car. Safe lock. and race ship male side into vehicle female side. Close the lock again. So that's the main part of the installation done. Now you can start to fix the cables. In your package should be also some smaller zip ties, which you can use to mount the race ship harness into your engine bay. You can use um, already existing cable lines, but make sure the lines are not um, connected to big heat lines like exhausts or stuff like that. And make sure it's not somewhere around the radiator, of course, or rotating parts of the engine. Remove the deactivation plug, install the harness to your chip. And it's really important that there's nothing on the display and that means the electrician of the car is completely off and the ECU has been shut down. So if you press the button, nothing will happen. That's a good sign, so you waited long enough uh, until everything shut it down actually. Now I can use the waste chip uh, mounting material, which is uh, delivered together with your package. Clip it in here. And now you can start to fix uh, the waste chip with cable ties. The good thing with the race chip fixing material is you can leave your fixing material installed and just remove the chip, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to fix it every time again. Now you can cut off the leftover zip ties. Mount the engine cover again. And you're good to go.